In 2010, the J. Craig Venter Institute, JCVI for short, announced that they had created a synthetic living cell. They fabricated the DNA in a lab and used it to replace the natural DNA in a M. mycoides cell. They knew that they had succeeded when the cell began to reproduce with its new genome. They named their synthetic life form JVCI, SYN 1.0. Six years later, the team announced that they had created a synthetic minimal living cell containing only the genes necessary to sustain life in its simplest form. It had 531,560 base pairs and just 473 genes. They named it JVCI SYN 3A. Here's an illustration of SYN 3A's cross section as it is reproducing. It shows all the key macromolecules. For acids, we have DNA in bright yellow and RNA in shades of magenta. For carbohydrates, we have the membrane with some complex carbohydrates like polysaccharides in green. For proteins, we have those associated with DNA in tan and orange, synthesis factors in purple, enzymes, which are proteins, in shades of blue, and metabolic enzymes in shades of turquoise.